Here at 217 to 222, Laocoon is being devoured by the serpents. He's just watched his sons be eaten alive uh, by the snakes from Tenedos. And here in 217, Virgil continues, And now, or and already, having embraced, or having wrapped around his middle twice, having kirkum dati, or having given his squamea terga, his scaly backs, or their scaly backs, around his neck twice. They tower over him with their head and their lofty necks. They conquer him with their head and their lofty necks. That man, he, as he strives to tear apart, to wrench apart the knots with his hands, having been having been uh, soaked with respect to his headbands with gore and with black venom, or having soaked his headbands with gore and black venom. At the same time, he raises or lifts agonizing, horrendous, horrible shouts to the stars. So the scene continues here. Virgil uses yom in conjunction with the previous iteration there and and already just really emphasizing how fast all of this is happening how quickly all of this is moving and that is emphasized by the anaphora here beast beast so having enfolded his middle right having wrapped around his middle twice and twice having encircled his his neck with their scaly backs but here we have the tenesis of kirkum dati the verb has been broken apart into its constituent parts i think that visually is self-explanatory here. It's wrapping around him. So they, having having folded their backs, having having wrapped their uh, their squamea terga uh, around his neck, they superant. So not only do they tower over him, but they're conquering him. So there's a duality to this verb that's really nice. And they do it with their head, or heads, because Virgil's playing a little loose with the singular plural distinction, and their lofty necks, their high necks. So that man, again, Laocoon, and we have simul simul here. The, the correlative here, I'm going to take as, as he's doing this, at the same time he's doing that. Um, you could say, as at the same time, at the same time. But as he tendits, as he strives to. And this is the same verb that we've seen before. Uh, this is the same verb that that, um, that, this, that Virgil has the snakes struggling or striving to reach out to the shores. And here he's tended. He's struggling to or striving to de-wellera, to wrench apart the knots that these serpents have made as they've wrapped around him and his sons and to, um, to, to de-wellera them with his hands. We have another example of this verb, which is a perfect passive participle. And we're going to somewhat just pretend that it's deponent, pretend that it's active. So having soaked his witos with the gore and with the black venom. I explained earlier what, what I think is going on here with perfusus, uh, with Virgil's knowledge of Greek, and here something might actually be a little bit lost if we just say having soaked his headbands, because that's not grammatically what's really going on. He is the one who is soaked, but then specifically we're referring to the headbands, and that headbands that part is really important here because this is Virgil showing us that his his any sense of pietas, right, not not innate heartfelt um, character, but his duty to the gods. Um, his his position as a priest, it's not going to save him here. And they are soaked with the gore and with that, there's that ater, that great pejorative word here, that black venom. And just like the sacrifice that he himself was making, he is lifting horrendous shouts to the stars. And the next section we're going to see that simile being directly made Laocoon, who was sacrificing, was making a sacrifice, or he himself now is the sacrifice.